let's talk about the top 10 free apps on your Fire TV device. Whether you have a Fire Stick or a Fire Cube or a Smart TV, whatever the case may be, I've got 10 free apps for you so that frankly, if you don't want to, you never have to pay for your entertainment ever again. Yeah, this video is for anybody who wants to save money on their entertainment. Okay, so whether you're paying a bajillion dollars for cable or whether you're paying a bunch of little fees for lots of streaming services, if you use these free services, yeah, you can save quite a bit of dough. So let's dive in. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoy the content on this channel, then let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna show you here is how to find apps on your Fire TV device. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here to my home screen and what I'm looking for is this button right over here. This is your apps button. You'll see the My Apps or the App Store. Now you can click a bunch of times to get over there to the right or you can simply click to the left and go that way. It's a little bit quicker to get there. And I'm gonna go, instead of to My Apps, I'm gonna go to the App Store and you can find all sorts of stuff here. This is where you can go to find free apps, paid apps, whatever. You can find games on here, all sorts of stuff. And this is where I found most of my options for today. So if you find something you like, like Bon Appetit, for instance, okay, you're gonna click on this and it takes you to this screen. You simply hit the download button and it will download that and it'll show up in your apps, okay? So if I go back there, you can see it's downloading, but I'm gonna go back to the home screen, go to the list of my apps, and voila, there you go, Bon Appetit right there. That one's not actually on my top 10 list. It's not a bad app, so you can check that one out, but let's actually get started with the list. I'm gonna start with a couple of big ones. The first one is Tubi. Tubi is one of the first free streamers out there, and it's still one of the best. Now, the thing about Tubi that you need to understand, and this is gonna go for just about all of these free apps, is that it is commercial supported. You know, as people like to say, there's no such thing as free, right? So you're either gonna pay with money or in this case, time, right? So you do have to sit through commercials in most of these apps. All right, but let's get back to Tubi. Tubi is sort of a, it started out as a Netflix imitator, okay? And you can see that, yeah, it's got these horizontal rows of content that you can click through, you can find something to watch. The thing about Tubi is that it actually has a pretty darn good library compared to a lot of other free streaming apps out there. All of the apps I'm gonna talk about today have decent libraries. But if this is a Netflix imitator, you'll actually find some Tubi imitators that have kind of terrible libraries. And that might be what you're after, you know, who knows? A little camp never hurt anybody. Uh, but yeah, they do have some pretty good stuff here on Tubi, so check it out. Now, if you go up here to the top, you'll see, yeah, they have things separated by movies and TV shows, and they have a live TV tab. This one came out in the last year or so, uh, and Tubi, yeah, they do have these live TV channels. These are not gonna be the same channels that you're used to getting with cable or satellite, uh, but they're gonna be similar and you're gonna find a lot of the same kind of content. Again, you don't have to pay for it because it's commercial supported. And now let's go over to another big one, Pluto TV. Okay, so Tubi started out as a Netflix imitator that's on-demand content that you can watch anytime and they added the live TV stuff later. Pluto is exactly the opposite. So if we go into Pluto, Pluto started as a live TV streamer. This is kind of a cable imitator or a satellite imitator. So it's gonna have a lot of those same kinds of channels that we saw over on Tubi, uh, where, yeah, this isn't, you're not getting the same cable channels, but you are getting the same type of content that you would there. Uh, but Pluto TV, yeah, it started with live TV, and you get a lot of that, but they actually uh, expanded to on-demand content eventually. If you ask longtime cord cutters, longtime streamers, what is the best free app out there? This one is a very popular choice. A lot of people love Pluto TV, and so do I. I think it's really, really great. But again, just like Tubi, if we go up to the top uh, on Pluto TV, I'm gonna keep hitting my back button, and there, we get On Demand. So it's not just the live TV, they also tacked on the On Demand. And once again, you can see, yeah, we've got some decent titles here to work with. I think I might just have to do a Matlock Marathon. I didn't know they had that. Next up is an app that comes pre-installed on your Fire Stick, your Fire Cube, what have you, the News app. If we click in here, I actually think that Fire TV has done a great job of bringing together a bunch of news sources into one spot. 
So when I do these top 10 lists on other devices, like a Roku or a Chromecast or an Apple TV, I often highlight a really specific news source. But with the Fire TV, you don't have to do that. It's all right here. It's actually really pretty fantastic with a bunch of different categories here up top. So you can check out the trending stuff. Uh, you can check out your preferred channels. OK, you can see them all listed here. That's really quite a bit of national news, local news, really a lot to go through. I myself often go here to the categories section. And when I come down to categories, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that there's a ton of categories that you have to wade through, but it does funnel you into, you know, what's most important to you at the moment. Peacock is an app that has to make a list like this. Okay, Peacock is NBC Universal's streaming service, and there is a premium version. There's actually two tiers of a premium version where you can pay for even more content or for no commercials, but they have a free tier that's really quite good. So if you log into Peacock here, I uh, create a profile, you come in here and you can watch, I believe over half of their library uh, right here for free. Again, commercial supported. So they will put some stuff behind the paywall and I know that can get frustrating, but because they do have so much good stuff out in the free version, uh, yeah, it's gotta make this top 10 list for sure. One thing that Peacock does especially well is wrestling content. So if you're a wrestling fan, you've gotta get this app uh, right here. You can see WWE and they have a whole lot of wrestling content for you right here. All right, let's move on to Plex. Plex is known as a place where you can bring your own content. So you go onto your computer, you sign up for a Plex profile, and then you can actually upload your own content. So if you have DVDs, you have music, you have photos that you want to load onto the Plex server, then you can access it here on your Fire TV. It's really slick, really nice that way. But what people may not know is that Plex now has their own library of live TV and on-demand movies and shows, just like we saw over on Pluto and on Tubi. And there's even more to Plex nowadays. There was actually an update that lets you bring in shows and movies from your watch lists uh, on other streaming services. But this isn't a deep dive. I'm not really gonna go into that, but you can check out the video that we had earlier this week that Juan did deep diving into Plex's new services. So go check that out. All right, how about we do a twofer, okay? This is kids content. Now, you're probably familiar with PBS Kids, right? It's fantastic, it's a great place to get kids content. But you may not know that there is a Lego channel as well. This is all Lego content all the time. On this homepage, we can go right past all this stuff. You can see all the different categories they've got, but you can also say, skip this screen, and it'll take you to all of their content. On the Lego channel, a lot of this is going to focus on shorter content, you know, kid-friendly stuff. But they've got Lego animated series, they've got people building Legos, they've got people talking about Legos, they've got all sorts of Lego content. And I'll tell you what, my kids love this channel. YouTube should need no explanation, right? It's YouTube. You're probably watching me on YouTube right now. Like and subscribe. But while there was a spat a while ago between uh, Amazon and Google and YouTube wasn't available on the Fire TV, devices it is now and so you should definitely have it as part of your streaming arsenal let's talk about twitch twitch is a very niche streaming service this one is all about video games yeah there is some other content on there but mostly it's about watching video games for instance i'm a big starcraft fan and i can watch international starcraft tournaments here on twitch on my fire tv or you can watch people streaming themselves playing video games you can watch people talking about video games there's a ton of video game content on twitch and the nice thing about highlighting it here on the fire tv is that twitch for whatever reason is not available on roku so if you're a roku user or you're trying to decide between the two uh, then this one is not available there it is available however on fire tv Freevee, as you can see, was formerly IMDb TV. Okay, so this is the free version of Prime Video. You can kind of think of it that way. I don't know why they call it Freevee. I guess because it rhymes with TV, but regardless, it's a stupid name. But that doesn't mean it's a stupid app. They've got a lot of good content on here. One thing I will warn you about is that the Freevee app is a bit glitchy. Uh, when they switched it over from IMDb TV, they changed the format and uh, the software got a little bit glitchy. It's not too bad, but you may run into problems where the app resets or it sends you back to your Fire TV home screen, something like that. Uh, so watch out for that. That's why it's not, you know, 
highest on this list is because of stuff like that. But the content is good enough and I'm sure that they'll work out those kinks soon enough that uh, hopefully that won't be too much of an issue for much longer. Last but not least, and this one may come as a surprise, is the Roku channel. Yeah, it is in fact available on Fire TV. So if you click on the Roku channel, yeah, it's exactly what you would get on a Roku, just available here on Fire TV. And I highlight this one because Roku is actually doing some really cool stuff with their originals, with the content that they have acquired or that they are now making. So if you wanna see some stuff that you can't see anywhere else, the Roku channel is a good place for that. It's also got a live TV section, it's got news, it's got a family friendly section, all sorts of stuff. The Roku channel really is trying to be a one-stop shop for all sorts of content, for all your content needs. Uh, and I think they do a pretty good job at it. So definitely check this one out, even if you're a Fire TV user. So there you have it. Like I said, you never have to pay for content again because there's plenty for you to consume right here on this free list. Hopefully this helps you out. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite might be or what you would add to the list if you're an experienced streamer. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I will see you next time.